yes, you can import your own samples and MIDI files into Logic Pro for iPad. The problem is, is that Apple haven't made the process particularly straightforward. So in this video, I'll show you how it works. If you have your own samples saved onto your iPad and want to bring them into Logic Pro for iPad, first off on your homepage, open the Files app. Tap the three dots at the top of the screen and select Slide Over. When you're prompted to pick a second app to slide over, pick Logic Pro. Now in your Logic Pro project window with your Files app overlaid, find the file you want to bring into your Logic project. Press and hold on it and then drag and drop it straight into your project window. Note that dragging it into the timeline will create a basic audio track, while dropping it into the track header area will allow you to open the sample directly into a new instance of Sample Alchemy, Quick Sampler or Drum Machine Designer. Bringing your own MIDI files into Logic Pro works in much the same way. Again, open your Files app, tap the three dots at the top, select Slide Over, and then select Logic as the second app. Locate the MIDI file you want to import into Logic in your Files app, then tap, hold, and drag it into the project window. Again, if you drag the MIDI file into the track header area, you'll be prompted to create a new sample alchemy, quick sampler, or drum machine designer track. Or you can just drag the file into the timeline where a default software instrument track will be created. You'll also have the option of whether or not to import its tempo info here too. From here, you can open the browser and assign an instrument sound to your MIDI regions. Right, that's how you can import your own samples and MIDI files into Logic Pro for iPad. Personally, I think Apple should just add an extra tab into the browser or something for this kind of stuff, instead of making us use this weird, clunky workaround. But let me know your thoughts on this method down in the comments. And if you could give that like button a wee tickle on the way past, I'd really appreciate it. Can you change key signature in the middle of a Logic project? The answer to that question, plus everything else you'd ever want to know about global tracks in Logic Pro for iPad, can be found right here.